Wimbledon. I'm a big, Wimbledon. big tennis fan. Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Well, this past weekend was Wimbledon. And 28-year-old French tennis player Marianne Bartoli became the women's singles Wimbledon champion. She is a great player. She is, I mean, to Phenomenal win Wimbledon. Look, but her grit, her, she's great to watch. Great player. And the hatred that spewed out on Twitter because she's not a tall, skinny, hot, you know, by society's normal standards, whatever that says, uh, you know, blonde, model-looking tennis player, they called her all sorts of words, you know, just disgusting things. And, you know, it's the internet, and these are just people who are stupid, and, you know, it's, it's to be expected, sadly. Um, however... What is not to be expected is that a BBC present, uh, presenter, John Inverdell, Inverdell, would, jo- Inverdell? John Iverdell. John Inverdell would join in with That's these right. sexist remarks. <sighs> let's, let's, just, let's just listen. And she's a fighter. She's got the mentality of a boxer when she goes out on the court and uh, she fights to the last point. Um, And uh, you watch her each day and she's got all these different uh, routines and funky strokes. And and then you just are amazed that she has energy left at the end of a match because she expands so much, (laughs) swinging and boxing. Well, I just wonder if her dad, because obviously he's been the most influential person in her life, I just wonder if her dad did say to her when she was... 12, 13, 14 maybe. Listen, you are never going to be, you know, a looker. You are never going to be somebody like a Sharapova who's going to be. You're never going to be 5 foot 11. You're never going to be somebody with long legs. So you have to, to compensate for that. You are going to have to be the most dogged, determined fighter that anyone has ever seen on the tennis court if you're going to make it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Listen, what is, what is being a looker and having long legs have to do with winning Wimbledon. Listen, no one is going to put your picture on their walls like this Maria Sharp. So listen up, dear. No one is going to want to go up on a date with you like they would with, say, Maria Sharapova or Anna Konnikova. It, it, it's also just so, like, he's making, this, say, he's making he... this point about her game, and you, and you hear about men, like, people talk about all tennis players this way. Like, your game obviously fits with, like, you know, if you have certain types of athleticism. Also, that should be... T- I, you showed me some of these Twitter comments. This is one of the fittest people in the world. So people are calling this woman fat. I don't know what kind of demented... Lud- I she's, mean, she's, no. not, she's not sickly skinny. She's not... She's an she's athlete. She's blonde. She's an, she's an athlete. athlete. She has an, af- an I, I, athlete's body. And what's unbelievable, about the, the comment he's making, though, is that you could describe, like a male player, you would say, like... This guy is more of a baseline game because he's not as fast as someone who has more of like yes. like so everything exactly. he was there, like half yes. of what he was saying was a completely like they and what the woman was saying was just this totally valid observation about her game which is incredibly energetic and high level and really fun to watch and then he just slides this looks thing in there it's one of the most ludicrous things I've ever seen in my life. Like, imagine if he said it then, like, you know, like, someone must have told Marion Djokovic Mar- that, Marion, you know. Marion Botali, don't you know that <laughs> no man is ever going to look up your photo and have a good wank to it? I mean, what, what disgusting... They're like, not going to be wanking to your photo. <laughs> so you're going to need to run faster. That's how it works. What kind of demented like, nonsense listen, is this? Listen, this is an unbelievable story because she's the Wimbledon champion and he's saying these things about her. And not only is he saying this about her as if this is his opinion, he has the nerve to say that her dad probably said this to her. Her, her dad has come out and said, she's my beautiful daughter. Yeah, that's right. And screw you. You know, f- you know seriously, though, every, every parent, though, thinks their child is beautiful. Who is this guy to think that this guy took a look at his daughter and was like, oh, man, hope she's a good tennis player. I mean, what, what kind of thought process is this? But the best part of the story, and you know what, the reason I chose to pull it, is that Marion Bartoli is without a doubt, I, I hope at the very least people will, will, will give her this because she deserves it. Not only is she deserving of being Wimbledon champion, but she should be, not only because she won Wimbledon, she should be a role model for, for girls after this statement. More so than if she was just any female tennis player who won. Uh, when asked about uh, John 
Ayn Verdale's comments. Bartoli said, It doesn't matter, honestly. I am not blonde, yes. That is a fact. Have I dreamt about having a model contract? No, I'm sorry. But have I dreamed about winning Wimbledon? Absolutely, yes. And to share this moment with my dad was absolutely amazing, and I am so proud of it. I mean, wait, wait, wait. She's, she's amazing, and I just say it again. She is an incredible tennis player. It's awesome watching her play. I mean, it's just masterfully, masterfully way to handle that. 